Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. It's been it's been a little while since we last last spoke. Uh, Restream uh, apparently told me that it was June the last time I streamed. So I'm really keen to get back to it and I was quite excited to have a little thematic um, a short thematic season of streams based around Halloween and I thought a nice easy way to to get back into the uh, the flow of streaming would be to play some more Vampire Survivors which to be honest is something I haven't really picked up since I last streamed it which is probably going to be I don't know it could be a year ago I think I played it for about half an hour to get some uh, some b-roll footage uh, for a channel update video on my YouTube um, uh, a couple of months ago, it might have been July even, um, so I did a little bit then, but um, I'm keen to see uh, how I find it. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to keep anything too heavy here. Let me quickly credit, I do want to credit the uh, lovely opening music that you may have heard if you were you were waiting in was Spooky Boop by Otis McDonald. That's courtesy of the, um, the YouTube music library, so that's licensed for YouTube but probably not for Twitch, so it, it might be muted uh, after the fact on the um, the Twitch bod, and we'll see how it goes for YouTube. Uh, but we should be all right, generally. Uh, how is, who am I? Who am I? I'm Catsequences. Uh, how this stream is going to work is that I'm streaming both to Twitch and YouTube simultaneously. Uh, generally not a lot of people in chat, um, so what I do is I dual stream through Restream, um, and I use their chat um, to display on screen. So if you see double of everything from me, that's why, because I'm posting to both streams simultaneously uh, in the chat. But your your chats will appear individually, or should do, and everything should appear on one screen. And also with an icon to indicate whether you're on Twitch or YouTube, which hopefully will help facilitate some kind of conversation. Although if you're just in one chat, you won't necessarily see what the people in the other chat are seeing uh, unless you're looking at the chat on the screen. But I mean, hopefully it will facilitate any kind of conversation that we need to have during the course of this stream. That's that little bit of business done. I think we're all set up. Everything is unmuted, so that's very good. Let's just get into it. Let's play some Vampire Survivors. Let me know how the sound levels are. I did a quick test before we start today so it should be all right but if I'm a little too high or the uh, game mode is a little too low do let me know uh, let me know how it's looking I mean on the technical side bitrate looks like it should be okay I think we're all right um, but again let me know and anybody out there who wishes to say boo then please do it is the time for it um, let's just get straight into it uh, I have forgotten most things about Vampire Survivors, but I do remember that all you need to do is move around and not walk into monsters. So we'll try that. Um, we are not a few characters, haven't we? I think in the back of my mind I've got a few aims. Let's do. I, I remember liking Pasqualina, so let's be Pasqualina. Um, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, so I think uh, I would like to... We have unlocked the inlaid library. Um, I'm kind of tempted to have a look there at some point, but I, I think my first objective, something I'd really like to do, is actually get all the way to the 30 minute mark in the Mad Forest first. I would like to do that. I would like to find, uh, however we manage to get hold of the, um, uh, the, the book that tells you everything about the characters and the creatures. Uh, I think that's probably in the library though. That would make thematic sense. Um, I'd like to get hold of that as an objective, and I would also like to work out what's up with that cat and how can we unlock that cat. It might be tied to a specific character though, so uh, I don't know. Ooh, audio went a bit funny there. Okay, it's quite loud in my headphones. I might just pause, pause it for a second there to... <laughs> Turn my volume down a little bit, otherwise I'm going to be shouting at you guys, which... Oh, where's my volume control? Never there when you want it, so... Where is it? There it is. Okay. This is even going to get louder or quieter. 
Oh, that's that's acceptable level of volume. Yes, perfect. Right, let's resume. Right, so Pasqualina does uh, Rune Tracer. Somehow I remember the name of that weapon, um, which does a nice little bouncy thing um, at kind of random and oblique angles. So you have to try and kind of hope it hits something and that they drop some experience gems. Is this, hang on, has the, um, this is the most recent update, so when I started Vampire Survivors up um, about, let's say 15 minutes ago, um, it did need to do an update, and if I recall correctly, it's reinstated the original soundtrack for the first level, right? This is the one I remember, um, but previously it was a different track, right? I'm just having lots of water. Right, so, uh, there is a streamer mode, isn't there? Well, if we, you know what, if we get a few people in, we'll activate the streamer mode, see how that goes. But for now, I am choosing, I get to choose what I want. Um, I like axes, they do lots of damage, that's good. But directional damage is also, let's get the knife, directional damage is also good. There are probably some, like, some uh, weapon upgrade targets that we can aim for to get unlocks. I'm not sure I'm too bothered about those necessarily. There's plenty of experience around here. Little experience gems to hoover up so we'll go do that. Yeah I'm quite excited about the um, the stream schedule that I've put together for this week and next. Uh, it's two more streams after this. Uh, we're going to be playing a different game each stream, even though we probably won't complete either of them. Although, you know, there's there's the chance that we might be able to in one stream. Um, what do we want? Do we want Santa Water? Do we want a Clock Lancet? I never find the Clock Lancet very good. Cross is good. Let's get Cross. If you can't get Cross, get angry. That's what I say. Anyway, I was talking about the streams that I'm excited about. Um, yeah, so we're going to do, we're definitely heading retro after today, so it will be this Thursday, 7pm UK time again, we will be playing Project Firestart, which if you don't know it, is um, a C64 game from 1989, um, so just, just at the turn of the 90s, um, which is a, an early example of survival horror. Um, and it's got really, it's a really charming um, pixel graphic kind of isometric layout. Whoa, okay, I'm, not, I'm concentrating too much on talking, I'm not enough on bats. Is there chicken? Is there, can I get chicken? Um, yes, Project Firestart looks really exciting. It's um, sci-fi themed, it's kind of alien inspired. Um, so there's some gruesome, gruesome alien monsters. Um, that we're going to have to try and not run into, uh, but it looks like a really interesting game. And um, I I, according to um, the research I've done, anyway, it doesn't seem to be a direct antecedent of, say, the '90s survival horrors, um, especially like the the Japanese uh, ones like Resident Evil and Silent Hill. But um, yeah, uh, it does seem to have contributed to the. Uh, the, the general uh, gestalt of, um, of that branch of, of horror, which is um, something I would like to check out and share with you. So hopefully, Shields of Damage went active. Have I, do I Laurel? Oh well, in the absence of garlic, I'll Laurel. I'm not sure I can tell when it's active or not. Yeah, so looking forward to Project Firestar, it was, I wasn't quite sure, I would have posted my stream schedule a bit sooner, but I wasn't quite sure what days I would be free, uh, for one thing, uh, but also um, it was a bit of work to um, get Project Firestart going, because I really wanted to play something like that. Um, and yeah, Project Firestart seems like kind of en enough up my alley, because I am, I'm quite, uh, reactive when it comes to um, horror. I don't enjoy gore. I don't really enjoy susp suspense very much. 
Um, so it's probably going to be a bit, a bit tense, but that might make for a good stream. Um, so kind of, I felt like Project Firestar, with the the distance of it being um, an old C64 um, pixel art horror game, might be enough distance to make it more more approachable for me. Let's get more knives. Um, so we're going for that. And then next Monday, so the day before Halloween, the 30th of October, 7 pm UK time, which will be slightly different possibly to other time zones. I mean, we've changed, the gap may have changed between us and other time zones because the UK's um, changes from summertime to its, um, its general winter time, which is Greenwich Mean Time. Uh, between those two weeks, but it'll be 7 p.m. UK time still um, And then we're gonna play a ripper which is a very exciting Well, I don't know if it'll be really exciting, but it looks uh, Like a great curiosity. It's an FMV game the first I would have played uh, for um, the channels uh, And it's got it's got Christopher Walken in it, so it's kind of a this, yeah, so I, I'm kind of curious because uh, a few of the creators of this game uh, seem to have they seem to have a penchant for trying to mash together noir detectives, um, cyberpunk, and horror of some nature. So I believe some of the same people were involved in the RPG Bloodnet, which is like vampire uh, cyberpunk which, I mean, I've got to play at some point. Um, but they also made um, a couple more games, I think. Uh, what's it called? Something to do with hell. Um, it's kind of like a, a devil, a devilish, hell-themed detect detective cyberpunk story. And then, and then Ripper apparently has these elements as well. Plus, uh, obviously, Christopher Walken, which is a big draw for, for all concerned, really. Um, so I've seemed to have got that working. That's um, that's a DOS game originally, and it comes on four CDs. So trying to get all that to work with um, with the DOS box set up um, is not necessarily straightforward, but at least at te the last test, uh, it seemed to be doing all right. So I'm very excited to share that experience with you guys too, if you can make it. Um, it should be fun. Right, I think we should... Ooh, Pomerola? Let's get Pomerola. Get some um, health regeneration. That's probably going to be good. Right, I feel like there's probably a lot of um, stuff left on the table around here. Because I uh, do find it hard to exposit and play games, although all I'm doing is moving. I'm also, um, I've got a ridiculous number of windows open right now. Uh, because I, <laughs> I, I had, still haven't been able to get um, a two screen setup working for myself um, since the last time it did, which was, I think was the last time I played Vampire Survivors on stream, uh, appropriately enough. Um, so that was a long time ago. So basically I'm playing Vampire Survivors windowed um, and alongside that window I've got OBS up um, which is a little distracting because I, I might be able to uh, see the <laughs> um, play by seeing it in OBS but that's probably a bit of a delay isn't it which is not helpful but that's slightly distracting I'm also keeping an eye on the audio levels and um, below that I've got three, <laughs> three chat boxes open I've got Restream, but I've also got the individual Twitch and YouTube chats open in case uh, for some reason uh, Restream stops communicating that to me. So yeah, just give me a shout wherever you are um, and I should be able to see you. Oh gosh, this is getting a bit hairy, isn't it? Okay, thank goodness for Pomerola. Oh, I could really do with garlic. Garlic would be fantastic. It really helps with those... Um, big mobs of creatures. Okay, oh, well let's just get more Rune Tracer. I gave, guess given those options. That would make sense, probably. Um, the music's definitely quite 
loud, but hopefully that's still kind of an accessible level for both myself and the game audio. Do you let me know. Oh no, I'm trapped in here with demons and devils and Yeah, so that um, uh, Vampire Survivors, let's talk about that as we're playing it. Um, it seems to be doing very well, although um, definitely my, I think I had my greatest burst of interest was when I was playing the demo, and since um, I waited until it was full release before getting it, I didn't didn't get it while I was in early access. Um, and I think there's a bit too bit too much in it for me. Um, I kind of liked it when it was a bit sparer. Um, but you know what? It's it's always an enjoyable thing to pick up, and it's very easy to pass the time in. It must be said. Ooh, a treasure chest. Oh, but there's a praying mantis right there. Um, I also uh, enjoyed there not being all these obstacles in the. <laughs> in the demo version. Is that to make life more difficult? Oh, okay, we might just be able to... Yes, we did. Are you ready? This is our first treasure chest of the, the stream, isn't it? Alright, here we go. Yes, and... Uh, okay, one more knife. Oh, I, yeah, that's fine. I mean, garlic would have been nice. But... Actually, I'm not sure. Can you get anything other than. Oh, you get stuck on those poles. Anything other than uh, upgrades in treasure chests? I think you can get new things in like one of the three in one or five in one chests, from what I recall. Um. But yeah, Vampire Survivor seems to have been regularly updated, which is really lovely, and it does have a co-op mode as well, which um, I don't know if I'll ever get to use that, but that does seem quite exciting and chaotic, probably very chaotic. Um, yeah, I don't know whether, um, I haven't seen anybody do it, but I don't know whether co-op um, would make a good stream or not, or whether it would just be a bit, a bit too manic. Right, ideally I would get out of here. Yes, there we go. Um, right, so we're at the 10 minute mark and we've just got out of the Ring of Roses, which means it's time for an army of skeletons soon, if I remember my forest level vampire survivors. So, what are we going to do about that? We, we don't have any... Usually having garlic by now is, is what enables me to survive this particular scenario um, but I don't know don't know if we're gonna get there to be honest oh yep here, here we go um, because I don't think we can like clear enough space with the damage that we, know, damage that we do no that's <laughs> we didn't really no we didn't really get there that time but that's all right Okay. Oh, you get your stats at the end of things you found. I think that might be new. I don't remember that animation happened before. Okay, that's fine. Should we take a quick look at the unlocks? Let's see. Um, so we haven't made it 20 minutes yet. Um, we haven't got King Bible to level 4. So we could maybe try that. So it's getting things, other things to level seven. Ooh, we are not characters if we get um, some of the weapons to. Oh, what what is Tarona's box? This is exciting. Well, you know what? Let's start again. Maybe we'll do a different character this time. Mortaccio, as yeah, come on, uh, a saintly skeleton. What's what's more Halloween stream than that? 
yeah, we'll go Mad Forest again. Concentrating very intently on Notaccio because um, unfortunately their bone doesn't seem to go very far, um, which is you know not an uncommon problem. Um, Pichon, Pichone. Yes, because if we get Pichon 8 to level 7, which is, is quite a tall order probably, um, we unlock the, the ultimate form of, uh, of Pichon 8. So that would be good. Okay, interesting you can see that um, the circle that kind of is the uh, target point for Pichone. I don't know if that is that intentional. It looks like it might not be intentional, but that's fine if it is. It's an interesting graphical thing. The, the bones aren't very frequent, are they? If we want to make better use of that. I think we need to, to level that up. All right. Okay, let's see if we can hang back and pick up some of these gems. Here we go. What else would we like for our whip? Yeah. We didn't have a whip last time. Directional. Might help clear our path a little. Oh no. Oh no. Straight into each other kind of zombie. Clearly these monsters bear a grudge that we've um we found Catholicism or whatever. And uh, are now fighting for the site the side of the angels. Um, okay. No. Okay, I just about managed that. Right, Fire Wand is good, isn't it? Should we Fire Wand? Uh, yeah, come on then. Uh, I didn't really pay attention to what um, Mortatio's specialities were, so I'm definitely not trying to maximise those, or uh, I may accidentally be maximising those, uh, but that's purely out of uh, blind luck. That's what that'll be. No, thanks. Yeah, we're not we're not uh, doing wonderfully here. Is, is what I'll say. I could do with some chicken. No coin. That's all right. We've got three coins so far. I just remembered that you can actually get coins and you can uh, buy upgrades with coins. So that's good. I think my intention last time I played in earnest was to try and save up for the biggest upgrade. I think that was what I was going to try and do. Which is it's a hard path to walk, but you know. Okay, we got a little bit of health back, so that's going to buy us a little bit more time. I get a feeling we're probably not ready to um, get all the way to the end with Mortaccio. That's, that's what I'm feeling.
Okay. At the moment we're just sort of we're just about avoiding all these ghosts and pirate skeletons and things. Our former brethren. Um, we might be able to level up again if we are quick. Oh, we got a little bit more money. That's good. Okay, those beefy skeletons take two hits of the whip. Two cracks of the whip. Oh no, we're inside the thing. Okay. Alright, we might be able to level up. If we can run a ring around these monsters. Still no garlic. Just want garlic. Right, what have we so we've already got we've got the bone, we've got picholne, we've got the whip, we've got flaming sword or whatever. Um, so these are all new things, which is a shame. Let's get the magic wand, that's pretty handy. A proximity one is pretty handy. Because while you're skating around them, you do are doing damage to some of the um, Ooh. Oh, there's a chest. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, you ready again? Okay, it was more whip. Oh, that's good. Double whip. Yeah, take it. So I think it goes in different directions. Is that right? Yes front and back. That's pretty handy. That'll clear a bit of space. Alright, well actually we've got a little bit of a reprieve here, haven't we? Um, oh, okay. Let's do Pichon then. So we've got a chance to upgrade one of our existing things. Could do one for the fire, which does um, that start to make a lot more of a difference when you get more projectiles. That's very handy. Alright, so yeah, I think we've got a little bit of a reprieve here until it starts getting closer to 10 minutes and then things will also be challenging, or if, or if we get stuck in a mob, you know. Alright, well we've got, we've got a few points, that's good. We're halfway to levelling up again, don't mind that. Um, I'll keep on the lookout for any chicken that we might be able to pick off the floor. No, no coins. Oh, 201! Wow, okay, that, that must be the treasure chest effect, this bit. Okay. We lost a little bit of health there, didn't we? Shame. Ooh, that'll feed them all. Ah, oh, brilliant. Well, let's just... Okay, okay. <laughs> that was fine until it wasn't fine. Uh, please be a chicken. Luck be a chicken. No, you're a coin. But can I hoover you up? Yeah, I can. Okay. Uh, alrighty, I think, I think we're almost done. But, the coinage is good. We can have a look at the um, upgrades in just a second. Yeah, let's have a look at those. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, power up. Let's see. Um, so we we got one growth, apparently. 3% more experience per rank. That's between revival? Revival swarms with... I don't think that was what I was aiming for. What's the... The one we only get one amount, probably. 5,024, okay, <laughs> we're not even half of the way there, are we? Ah, fires one more projectile, all weapons. Yeah, that is a very good one. Um, I guess these that you're going to get two of a more. Yeah. Anything? I mean, arm is pretty expensive, isn't it? Revival is 10,000, wow. Yeah, so greed and curse are... Um, I think more recent additions. 
which is fine. Yeah, I still want to save up for that one, really. All right, we'll try. Let's have another go. What? Uh, okay. We're 20, 22, 8 already. The time is flying by, everybody. Um, let's be who? Arca. We like the fire, don't we? Let's be Arca. So, um, Arca Ladonna. Weapon cooldown is reduced by 5% every 10 levels. So if you hold on, things get faster. Okay. Uh, back in the forest again, because I'm... Kind of, kind of got a grim determination to get there because that would be nice. That would, that would uh, appease my my poor brain. Okay, do a little run around there. Here we go. Right, um, still no garlic. Oh dear. Right, uh, we could Rune Tracer. We could Santa Water. Well, they're, um, cooldown and not... Um, area, so I think that's... Let's go for Axe, high damage. I think that might be cooldown. Not sure, because if um, if their um, ability ties to their primary weapon, then I would have thought axe and the fire thing were both cooldown related. All the projectiles should be. Although, or is that more like a uh, period of effect, like the pichon and the uh, um, laurel? I wonder. Anyway, we're doing a good amount of damage. Um, so these are definitely fairly strong starting weapons. Taking out a fair few zombies there. Right, we should better level up in a minute. Lovely. Let's do. Fire wand? Oh, no, that was not good. Right, we're, we're looking for a chicken now. Yes! Oh, goodness. oh fantastic! Uh, Nduya! I remember. Very good. Ah, oh, yes, this will do. This will be nasty. That was lucky. Oh, let's fire wand it again. Yeah. I think it probably does pay to um, to have perhaps fewer weapons and upgrade them as much as you can, but it's obviously very randomised as to whether you get that opportunity or not. Okay. Uh, so <gasps> Spinach, that's good. Hollow Heart, oh, that's good. Clover, these are all good. Um, I guess let's get the spinach going. silent for a while it's probably because I've entered the, the vampire surviving zone and I've, I've ceased, ceased to see anything outside of uh, this little pixel character moving around some bats oh, right. yeah. oh no 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 that was moving very fast
You see that? Crack that pirate skeleton right on the head with Vex. Right, so they should be blocked by the graves as much as I am. Yeah, that's good. Okay, well we're uh, successfully circumnavigating. Let's see if we can double back. And oh, avoid those bats. Uh, but pick up some of this experience that's lying here. It's sweet, sweet leveling up material. That should. Here we go. Um, more axe, more axe. Thank you for axing. Right, there we go. Just about keeping on top of things here. That log's probably going to block my progress, isn't it? I'm not going to get any of that. Right, so fire definitely beats ghosts. Write that down in your um, in your notebook for later. Okay, we're in the ring of uh, carnivorous plants. That's what we're inside. Well, unfortunately, there's quite a lot of scenery around here that I seem to have gotten inveigled with. Uh, oh, okay, let's get out of here. That would be good. Let's see if we can find some chicken. Um, clover. A tractor. Let's get a tractor. Chicken? No, I don't think that any of that was chicken. Chicken? No. Yeah, I guess it's rubbed against the log. Right, what about this one? Yes! Okay, now we're now we're um, well supplied with health. So I guess we just kind of mosey our way along here. Pick up some of these bits and bobs. No, they do a lot of damage to me, don't they? Ooh! They do you would be good. Yep, I see that. I'll just get a little bit of distance from those guys. And then, this should help. Um, right, we want more damage? More damage, I think. Let's get this treasure chest. More axe, yeah. I'll take it. Base damage up by 20. Brilliant. And then we can get this chest as well. More flaming. Yeah. Another 102 coins. Sounds good. Base damage up by 10. Lovely. Um, so I guess that means the next upgrade should be... Number of projectiles increasing, which would be cool. I still really like that garlic. We want to survive the uh, skeleton onslaught. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, strugg ooh, struggling to make it to 10 minutes at the moment, aren't we? Oh, I got flattened. Got flattened again. You know what we're going to do? Let's take a turn in the library. I think that would be nice for, for a change, wouldn't it? We've had three goes at the forest. A, um, a library one would be quite nice. I'm just going to have a little sip of, uh, sip of cold green tea. It's not intentionally. <gasps> it's a hard game. Yes. CRT. It is a it's a hard game. It's unforgiving, isn't it? Um, let's pick. Uh, who do I like? Gennaro. 
There you go. Let's try Gennaro in a library. Let's see if that works because we definitely want Arca's fire in a library. Um, right. What does it say about the library? Let's read this text. The futile scribe has, was cursed to know all and understand nothing. His endless library may gift us insight or damnation. A mask of stone whispers endlessly within. Okay. Oh. I picked the wrong time to... What? Ooh. Oh, it's good. Oh. Interesting. Um, lots of new uh, character types, enemy types here. Um, I feel like... Directional damage? Because this seems to be a, a much more left and right uh, travelling level. So let's get directional damage from the knives. Um, I don't, I'm not sure what these wooden wooden things are. Are they wooden? Okay, the um, the pace of the uh, organ music has got me slightly on edge as well. I might have to get used to that. Right. It's pretty funky though. I, I like it. All right, so these are these are kind of your bats, aren't they? These are your library bats, whatever these wooden things are. Right, there's something over here that you're pointing me to, so I'm heading towards it. I guess just keep heading in one direction is good for the library. Oh, oh. Uh, oh you can go down further than I thought you could. Interesting. Um, King Bible, there you go. We're in a library, so. Okay, what are you pointing me to? Because it's far away, so it's not something I've unlocked by um, defeating anybody. loads of these wood things uh, oh 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 okay this isn't going terribly well okay is there a bit more there's a little bit more height now I think interesting feeling it out it's a, it's a beautiful library many books Oh, there's Medusa heads. That's fun. Oh, there's like slimy, oh, slimy collections of skulls. Is that what those green things are? They don't look very nice. Right, that green arrow is still pointing us in this direction. Oh, okay. Let's take some pummel roller, I think. You can only imagine my disappointment not to have been offered any garlic so far today. That is, that's my favourite one. Okay, well, it seems like the ramp up is, as a, there's a nice gradient to it in terms of uh, enemy difficulty so far. So it's just kind of being able to keep moving really. Yeah, so doing lots of directional damage does help. Oh, it's a mummy. I bet they're a bit tougher. I mean, they could be they the kind that would drop a chest like the mantis in the forest. Oh, hello. I don't like that. What's that? Oh, no. There's like witches. Oh, hang on. Do we want this book? Is this what we want? Oh, wow. Okay, we need to stop their projectiles. <gasps> okay, this is this is a whole new thing, isn't it? I didn't realise they could do particle effects as well. Okay, so in theory we want to take out the witch. Oh wow, it's got pulverised. That's fine. Okay, I think we want to get that book, don't we? That's nice. Nice to know. Um, well, are there any characters who are better suited to this area do we think we've got Imelda who does gets extra experience and he has the magic wand 
Should we just go basic? Should we go Antonio Belpezi? Um, with the whip? Yeah, let's go. Right, let's try Antonio. In the inlay library. Okay. Here we go again. Right, so we'll keep going left. Oh. oh. That was the only one you see of those, isn't it? I think. And um, we'll try and keep going left. And... Um, head towards that book again. I'm not quite sure what we do about the um, the witches when we get there, but okay. Come on, a few gems wouldn't wouldn't hurt you, would they? What are they? Are they the librarians though? Are we? Is it all right because it's a bad library? Is it alright to murder librarians if it's a bad library? In a in a fantasy horror game, obviously. Okay. I still wonder what these things are. I suppose if we find the book of the book of all knowledge, we'll find out. Um, one more whip, yes, please. Although back, well, oh, I've got myself in a little pickle, haven't I? I'm not sure I was ready for the library. Well, it's slightly uh, throwing me off a little bit, um, and you can't see it on um, on the st on the stream. Um, because I've cropped the video, is that um, whereas the first stage, the forest, um, is kind of in this um, not quite full widescreen ratio and just has black bars on either side, now it, the library is in widescreen, but um, they're kind of they're half occluded the. Um, oh my goodness, that's quite a wall. They've half occluded those bits that would have been uh, just pure black. So I can like, kind of see what's coming up, but it doesn't quite register as a full part of the game. So my eyes are kind of um, jumping backwards and forwards. Like, is that is that happening right now? Or is that, is that not? Okay. Oh, this is tough. Uh, cross is probably good, isn't it? It's pretty. That's a pretty powerful one. Um, okay, I think I've myself in a bit of a state. Right, so we need to look out for Candelabre. Uh, can Candelabrum? Um, because those are the equivalent of the braziers uh, that contain, might contain chicken. I don't even know if there is chicken. Can you get chicken in a library? Oh, okay. Oh, there's no witches. How come there's no witches this time? Are the witches randomised? If we can do oh okay, let's get the book and get out. Ah, <gasps> the Grim Grimoire! Pumpney allows Pumpney allows to peek at discovered weapon evolutions and unions from the pause menu. Get Right, let's run away from these witches as fast as we can, because I don't think we have the power. Fab, well hang on, let's pause. Oh, oh there's some zombies coming, they're alright. Okay. Grim Grimoire, Weapon Evolutions and Unions. Oh, that's handy. So if we have the whip and the... Uh, can't remember what that heart thing is. Oh, and it puts a circle around the things we have. Well, this is good, but this is not the thing that shows me uh, what all the monsters' backstories are, which is kind of what I wanted. But there you go. Um... Okay, that must be something else then. Well, you keep me guessing, game. You keep me guessing. Right. Oh gosh. Wonder how long those witches' um, attacks last for. I mean, they're not on screen, so they're probably not doing any more, are they? Um, generating any more. Uh, but so once those ones are off screen, we're probably all right. Oh, because you're constantly moving 
in a direction. It's kind of a linear passage through this one. It's much harder to level up, isn't it? Um, unless you can find a way of kind of like doing loops, which I suppose you might be able to. Uh, and also, I don't. Ooh, okay. Yeah, there are definite walls of enemies, aren't there? Um, I don't know if it loops at all, like the um, the. F oh, that was, that's the end. I don't know if it loops at all, like the forest does, and whether we come back to the witches again, which would perhaps not be not be uh, my favourite thing. Right, we found the grim grimoire. That's good. One unlock. Cool. Nice. So collection. We'll just have a quick, quick peruse of that in case there's anything interesting there. And unlocks. Um, where's the grim? Find the Ars Gouda. Dare I? Dare I ask? Oh, so there there'll be more books then. I think. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's give it another go. Um. Porter does lightning. Should we should we try Spur Clariki? Let's let's try it uh, in the library with the holy water. Driving out the demons. Oh, oh there's one on the table here. Nice. Oh, it's an early level garlic. All right. What the heck? <laughs> Oh, that's delightful. I wish it could stay like that. If only it could always be so. Oh, this is fantastic. Um, more Santa water, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, Santa water will help with um, leveling up, I think. Pretty good. The area effect stuff is um, is handy, but it is diminishing. Uh, what do we think? Um, a track orb. Yeah, that might help. I guess we can look at the combos, can't we? Let's pause it for a second. Um, we don't know what combines with. Uh, holy water or garlic so we probably haven't unlocked what those things are yet it's exciting um, so yeah there's probably no, no point pursuing that um, so that's all right but let's see what if we can level up what we've got definitely the garlic is helping enormously here there's no arrow pointing us to anything anymore so I don't know how we'd get another book if we can get another book you know Alright, I'm going to try carrying on left, I think. Okay, more Santa water, yeah, I'll do that. Okay, ah, there's some candelabrums. You know what, this is the best, the best library run we've had so far. Maybe area is the way to go. Definitely having that garlic buffer is helping uh, with these um, fairly low level enemies. So that's nice. Uh, I'm just going to see if I can skate back in here. I can. Oh. Yes, it's up the garlic. Okay, now oh, now it gets a little more. Um, but we're still still doing a fair amount of damage to these um, green head collections. I'm not sure what you'd call those. And the um, Medusa heads don't seem to um, last for long. They're going on here at the moment. Okay. 
got some extra cash as well. Alright. Yep, definitely. I'm in the I'm in the the library zone. Okay. Um, let's get more attractor. Yeah, might as well upgrade the things that we've already spent some time in. They are popping like balloons at the moment, which is quite nice. Um, and the attractor is helping Hoover that up. I think the mummy would probably be a little more difficult. Oh, and these guys are more difficult. Okay. They're, uh, okay, yeah, they take more than one hit, so that's let's get out from under those. I think. In fact, they they take several hits from the garlic. Interesting. All right, we survived it though, so that's quite nice. It's, it's finding a path really. Um, garlic, or more sand. Let's do more, more sand water this time. Because now, now we have garlic, so we're going to see the chance to upgrade it a lot more. So that's good. Um, I think this is this is a tricky level, isn't it? Because it's um, much more of a challenge to get those experience gems and to generate treasure chests from. Um... Oh, okay. This was probably not not great, but we got survived it. We survived it. We can go around here. Hope for some more sand to water because that will clear things out a little bit. Okay, we can probably get away from back a little bit. Empty tome reduces weapon cooldown by 8%. That sounds like that would be handy. I wonder if we have a look here. Oh, empty tome goes well with the magic wand. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, I don't know if those those witches will reappear or if they were specific to the Grim Grimoire encounter. Yeah, I mean if this does loop back around, the library is circular in its own fashion then that would be handy because then we can start to pick up some of these gems again or it might just be like an infinite run thing um, i can pass through the ladder that's very handy oh look it's the mummy okay i'm i'm enjoying this i'm yeah swagli clarici um clarici um is is a good one for the library it turns out uh, especially if she's got garlic. If she's if she's eating a good meal beforehand. She's very useful. All right, but these these ones are going to be hard to um to get past. Because they they don't fall too easily. It takes some, some damage from multiple. Ah, oh, that was that was a chicken at the right time. Okay, good. There's not many things coming up, which is interesting. Let's get that bag of cash. Oh, it's another exploding ghost. Oh, oh, amazing. Okay, that was incredibly helpful. What? Who are these skeletons holding their own heads? They're fantastic. Okay, let's open this treasure chest. Uh, we're gonna have a sip of water while we do that. Garlic. What can you say? Base area up by 20%, base damage up by 1. And a level up. Uh, ooh, Candelabrador augments area of attacks by 10%. That's got to be good, right? Right, I bet these knights are a bit uh, tougher to, um, to get through, aren't they? Let's see if we can go back around here and get this chest. We can. Brilliant. 
Okay, ready again. What do you think we're gonna get? More Santa water? Oh no, more candelabra door. Brilliant. Right. Okay. At the moment, those exploding ghosts, ooh, not too much of a threat. But if we get swarmed by them, I can see that they would be. The little, the little popping green head things, I'm okay with, because they um, not too much of a threat, and they do help to space out some of the other encounters. Oh, which is nice. Oh, these are these are great. Ah, oh, I got confused. These are greater masses of heads, and they are tougher. That's okay. That's pretty tricky. Um, and there's a ghost after me. I think they might damage the other creatures too. Do they? Maybe. All right, it's gonna be very hard for me to tell at fast pace which are the tougher ones and which aren't of these green masses. So that's gonna be um, interesting. I, no, stay away from me, please. No. All right. Oh, we made. Oh, oh no, thank you. We made it to almost eight minutes, which is, is rather lovely. Let's see if we can double back here. Oh, not really. Um, empty time. Empty time. Oh, oh dear. Oh, but there's loads of him. Loads of. Oh, there's really, there's really massive masses of heads there. The ghost should not be too tricky. Right, uh, can we get... No, that was a coin. Okay. Um, oh, rats. Okay, I think we're done for, but... You know what? Coming up for the 10 minute mark. Pretty, pretty nifty, right? Uh, okay, uh, back. Uh, okay. <gasps> uh, more candelabra door. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see if we can squeak by and find a candelabra to, um, to extract chicken from, if we're lucky. No, it's coins. But, you know what? Oh, there's another book here. Let's get that. <gasps> Weapon found. Oh! You just get the, another empty tome. Cool. Oh no, and it can get stuck on the scenery. Okay. That's the. That, oh. Oh no. Okay. Okay, this is not. This is not going to work, is it? Oh. You know what, though? Nine minutes. That was pretty good. Hey. Pretty good, I would say. Well, what are we at? 20 past 8 almost. Let's give um, let's give the library another go. I, I think with the sister again because she's a good one for this level. Okay. Well, we now now we know this is here. Um, I guess we'll get more Santa water. We know garlic is good. We know garlic is good. Should we go right this time? Should we? I'll send to water. Um. Yeah, I'm really taking this, um, the tune for the library. Very good. Very driving. Did, um, does the sister have healing? Did I imagine that? Recovery, yeah, 0 0.5. Uh, well, let's get a Pummeroller then to, oh, to augment that because that might aid our survival as well. Right, so our area is, is definitely decreasing here, but that's okay. We could do with some more sources of.
damage. So maybe some more directional sources. Okay, that and down here. Okay, I think we can sneak by at the bottom here. Uh, ooh, okay, let's double back and get some of this because it's probably worth the risk for the chance to level up. No, 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 thank you. No, thank you, no, thank you. Okay, it's good to remember that you can go a little bit further than the top of the shell. Oh, no, that was, that was not, that was not good. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I'm doing it again. Okay. I feel like I'm getting more, more creatures following me by going right. I don't know if that seems... I don't know if that's just uh, a false impression, but... Oh... Alright, well this one isn't going so well. I think garlic makes a big difference, as does my ability to concentrate on what's in front of me. We're very close to living up, let's do that. Uh, more Santa water, there you go. It can only help. Except of course when it doesn't. Yeah, so if we can stay out of damage for a little while, then we'll we'll heal up a bit. Kind of hoping I can get something out. Of oh, that's no good. There's nothing there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do the mummy. Right, well the zombies seem to disappear quite quickly in uh, no I got stuck I got stuck uh, quite quickly in the holy water which is reassuring um, could definitely do with an alternative um, damage source I think oh yep yeah. Right, I'd like more Pomerola, uh, or another weapon, or preferably garlic. Pomerola and garlic would see me through, to be honest. That would, that would be what I would be looking for. No, no, no. Thank you. Down here, yes, thank you. No, 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 stop doing that, thanks. Just gonna get, uh, oh, 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 there's a special thing here, I need to get this, thanks. <gasps> the stone mask, character earns 10% more gold coins. I, mean, I don't remember having a stone mask before, well, that's, we'll get that. I mean, I don't think we're gonna have much chance to earn coins, but if it's unlocked something in the game, that would be cool. So I guess checking those little um, alcoves at the top of the the map seem to be a good way to pick up some new power-ups. I'm still very curious how to get the um, the codex that will tell us everything about the characters and the monsters. It's got to be an unlockable somewhere, but where? Okay, more Pomerola. Yes, please. Thank you. You know what? We've kept going a lot longer than I thought we would, given that we've only got holy water as our weapon. Um, yeah. Okay. 
All right. This. Oh no. This. Oh. Oh. What? There's a coffin. What? This didn't happen before. What is this? Dancing skeletons. This is all new. Okay. Let's. While the thing seems to pause for these dancing skeletons, let's level up. Um. Uh. More Santa water. More Santa water. Yeah. What are these? They. So they're getting further and further out. And they're blocking progress, I suppose. But nothing else is coming for me. Which is weird. Wings, let's get wings. Um, okay, alright, I'll get a treasure chest. Lord, this is a strange turn of events. More sand towards what a surprise. <laughs> We must have leveled that up pretty well. Level 6, yeah. Fires one more projectile. Base area up by 20%. You know what? If we can level that up one more time, which might happen just now. No, another Pomeroller, but that's that's no mean, mean thing. Right, I'm not really sure what we're supposed to do with this dancing ring of skeletons, because nothing else is coming for us. So is this like the end of the level? So see if the Santa water does anything to them? Oh it does. Okay. Okay, now that was just a brief reprieve, I think. Now we're back in I'm back to full health, which is nice. Wow, this is a strange turn of events, isn't it? Oh, and there's gonna be more exploding ghosts, of course. So this must be something you can only find by going right, which is Intriguing. Yeah, the exploding ghosts are going to be um, pretty annoying, aren't they? Oh wow, they take a lot of, they take a lot of stuff out of you, don't they? Yep. Okay. Oh, maybe see if we can level up one more time. See if we can do an unlock with the um, the holy water. That would that would be a nice achievement. Well. I'm glad we found those dancing skeletons, that was fun. Right, I feel like that was... Yay! New achievement, find a stone mask. Unlock stone mask. Brilliant. I feel like we should probably turn back to Pasqualina. I think Pasqualina is probably a good one for this. And the Mad Forest... And we'll try once again to realign myself to this, um, how this looks and sounds. We'll try one more time to get as far as we can. We've probably got like another half an hour stream, I'd say. So this is a good, good opportunity. Um, I guess that's what we are early on here. Let's have a look. Is Stone Mask now in here? No, we don't know what combines well with Rune Tracer to make other stuff. So we need to um, work out more of these buffs, don't we? Really? Okay. Have to discover them somewhere. Oh, there's a chicken there. I'll leave that for later. Definitely a big fan of this tune. This is this is good stuff. Garlic. Don't you don't need to ask me twice. All oh, right. Well, now we've got half a chance. Um. Right. What do we want out of these? High damage axe, probably. I'm gonna increase our damage out. Oh no, don't go next to the glowing bat. Alright, time for that chicken. But if you can kind of get it to follow you and then zap it with a few axes, that might help. Yes, that will help. More garlic, thanks. Can you get garlic and laurel? So I guess we could have done there, couldn't we? 
uh, Nama baby combination, maybe. Um, right, should we pummel Rona as well? So we get some recovery because we weren't, we didn't have any to start with, unlike the sister. That will help because definitely there are certain periods here where we can avoid taking damage. So that will help with some slow health increase. Okay, this should help a bit with the bats. This should help a bit with the bats. Yes, lovely. Um, we'll go for more axes this time. Okay. Yes, it's quite satisfying popping popping creatures like this. Uh, more room tracer as well. Let's get our weapons weapons that we have leveled up a bit more. See what's in here. Coin, I'll take it. Okay. Um Should we try the Laurel? Let's try the Laurel, see what happens. Laurel in combination with Garlic. Oh um, that should be be a good combination, right? So I think Laurel will be affected by area, maybe by cooldown. Okay, these are tough for skeletons now, so we do need to be wary. I believe that chicken because we don't need it right now. Axes can definitely deal with these skeletons. Oh, took a bit of damage there, though. Okay, uh, let's go more... Laurel, as well. We don't want to rest on them, but... They may be helpful. Right, there's plenty here to hoover up from... Previous defeats, so let's go do this for levelling up purposes. We're only four minutes in to the run, um, but I feel like it's going well. I just didn't feel nice, but I feel like it's going well. What's over here? Oh, the chicken. That's good. What is that? Empty tone? Air of attacks. Hmm. Cool down, let's try cool down. Oh, I see, I've just noticed that the laurel um, is visible sometimes and not visible at others, so I guess that's. Mind you, it stayed visible for a long time, it gets fainter and then stronger. So that's, that's why I find it hard to tell when it's active or not. I guess when it's um, the most opaque, it's working. It's a bit hard to tell. But I think cooldown should have worked well for it. Okay, we're in the midst of these things. But actually we're fairly well protected against these. Um, probably not a praying mantis though, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, uh, more garlic, yes please. Right, if we can get maybe the bat, yes. Okay, we'll try and come back for that gem. Maybe circle around these these ones for a little bit. Okay. Oh, after I think I have to lead them away and then come back when they're um, otherwise occupied. There we 
go. This should do it. I'd like to get um, Rim Tracer going a bit more, I think, if we could manage that. We're pretty close to leveling up, so that's good. We've got seven, seven coins so far, so it's not, not a big money, um, money trip at the moment. Okay, I can see what you're doing trying to push all these zombies towards me, and I don't appreciate it. Um, more garlic? More garlic. Oh, okay, we left these behind a while ago, didn't we? Let's get some of these. Okay, some tough zombies coming. Uh, let's hoover. Uh, oh, I think I've got those, that's pretty good. And then these. Oh, I'll take that chicken while we're heading this way. Uh, I'll take a little bit of damage there. Might be able to avoid other damage for a minute and heal up a bit. All right, we'll come. We'll come back to the area at some point. That's the plan. Eight coins now here. We're laughing. Right. Um, uh, oh, empty tone. Cooldown reduced. Yeah, let's do that. Should make everything more effective. More productive, I suppose. Oh, there's a clover there. That'd be handy. Apologies, really have to cough there. Okay. Right, what would we like from this level up that we suddenly got? Would we like a more laurel? More rune tracer, I think, is probably good at this point. More pummel roller. This is going very well. More rune tracer. Yes, okay, this is the stuff that successful runs are made of. We've got 22 coins now, look at us go! No! Okay, we mostly survived that, that's good. Another one. Yes, please. Um, clover. Sure. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Okay. Oh, do you see the size of that mantis? Tracer, what level have we got it up to now? Five? 
would be my guess. Five. Base damage up by five. Base speed up by 20%. Yes, yeah, so that's a damage and speed one rather than the only one. And probably not even a cooldown one. Oh goodness, right. Uh, we do really need to get out of here, I suppose. So let's force our way out. Oh, that's pretty good. Minimal damage, really. Okay. It's all been a little more lucrative now. Right, but the qu I suppose the question is, because we can probably outrun these guys, are we in a position to survive a horde of skeletons and then the subsequent ghosts and werewolves? Maybe, maybe yes to the skeletons. Not sure about the werewolves, because they're pretty um, tough. And the screen does have a habit of zooming out on me and um, it becoming very difficult to concentrate on the perspective. Here we go. Oh, 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 here we go. Okay, yeah, if we can stay just where there's skeletons, we are popping them. Not quite as, um, I definitely played, when I played the demo, um, I got to a state where you, they were, yeah, disappearing in um, in scores uh, from the amount of attacks I was doing. But this is enough to survive, I think. Uh, more Laurel, I think. Yes, yeah, so if at some point we can clear up some of these um, gems, we'll be alright, really. We go to where there's less density of... Oh, that mantis is taking a few jumps towards us, isn't it? Uh, less density of skeletons. We can maybe survive a little bit longer, get some... Ooh, regen going. Now let's get away from... Okay, there's the werewolves. Uh, they're not too dense at the moment. That's okay. This is ghosts, I think, are, are a bit more survivable than the werewolves. From what I remember, but they do take a couple of hits. Um, oh, we've got ourselves a lot of stuff there. These regular skeletons, they're not too bad. Right, let's see if we can find some chicken because we do we do need that now. Oh, I'll take, yeah. Yes, please. This is good. This is a good time. Okay. Um, more garlic? More garlic. Yes. More garlic. Yes. More laurel? Uh, more green tracer? More, <laughs> this is quite ridiculous. Um, more... Okay, we haven't had any of these before. Hollow heart? Sure. Oh, more green tracer? More pomerola? More brew tracer? More garlic? Okay, well this got a lot better all of a sudden. <laughs> I think we got lucky. Alright, well now we're doing Ghost in a Single Pop, so that is helping an awful lot. Oh, our, um, our novel is now glowing green, which I can only assume is good. Okay, we're popping ghosts like they're candy, which is very appropriate for this Halloween themed stream. Um, more Pomerola? Yeah. Okay, well we can probably... Oh, it's doing, I think it's doing this, the subtle zoom out thing, which really throws me off every time. So I really lose perspective. I'm concentrating on the fact that it's zooming out rather than what's going on on screen. Oh, it makes me feel a little nauseous. Oh no! Oh, and we were doing so well. 13 minutes. That's pretty good, I think. Oh, we unlocked two things. We unlocked the Spellbinder. And we... Oh, a new character called Poe! What? Edgar? Amazing. From the And we got a Spellbinder. Can I remember what Spellbinder does? Well, you know what we have to do, don't we? For our last run, we've got about 15 minutes left. Let's 
have a go. We'll, we'll have a look at play. Permanent plus 25% pickup range and minus 30 max health. That's ridiculous. <laughs> um, yeah, let's do it. Let's po Racho. Let's see what po Racho has got. Um, yeah, we'll do the forest again. I kind of know, know the deal in the forest. Okay. Oh, okay, so he's he's got... Oh, I didn't realise he was the garlic build. I think I think Poe might be my character. Okay. Um, what should we... I mean, it's fun to have a whip, isn't it? That's quite funny. Let's give, let's give him a whip. Well, this is it. This just made my stream, to be honest. Right, so I guess if, if we're treating this as a serious endeavour, we'd probably want to get the um, max health um, buffs to try and get him back onto a, a par with the other characters. But let's um, let's increase the garlic, as that's our base um, our base weapon. Does um okay? So Poe has no recovery. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, so far with um, with a slightly upgraded garlic, this is looking okay. Right, what what am I going to get you? Oh, let's get you some clover because that will affect um, drops such as whatever the thing is called that allows you to just hoover up all the gems that are on the map because that is very satisfying when it happens. Okay, yeah. Uh, more garlic. I mean, you offered it to me. So I'm gonna take it. Ooh, a whip, more whip, knife or armor. Uh, I'm not sure what uh, the description here means when you get increased retaliatory damage. Um, does that mean I, I take damage? I take more damage? Or the enemies take more damage? Let's get more whips anyway. Oh, we've got a nice little uh, little group here that we're harvesting. Should we get luckier? Are we out all night to get a lucky pay? Oh, we took out the brilliant. We took out the glowing bat, the boss bat, that boss. Uh, get luckier. I suppose that increases our chances of getting exciting things from braziers and from chests.
Right. Um, stone mask? Uh, or moving faster? Let's try stone mask. I mean, if you want to, I guess because you can probably go in for a run just to farm a bit. Oh, we lost a lot of health there. Farm a particular type of resource. So you could probably go for a stone mask run to try and get to your um, your coins goal, I suppose. Okay, Are these skeletons are not too... I mean, oh, they do take a couple of hits still. And, ooh, okay, and they do a lot of damage to me. Let's go looking for some chicken. Come on, Poe, let's go look for some chicken. No, that's a coin. You got 10% extra, but because it's rounding down, <laughs> you don't get any extra from a single coin. Um, more gar. It's got to be more garlic, isn't it? First priority garlic. Right, um, more braziers. That's what we need. We're going to end up in a circle of doom soon, I think. Ah, oh, chicken. Yeah, considering we've upped our luck quite a few times, I don't feel like we've seen uh, the fruits of that luck. But I suppose even when you're... There you go, that's better. When you're luckier... Um, that doesn't mean necessarily you're going to see that luck play out. Okay, we're here. Um, Oh, it's chicken. Uh, can I survive long enough to get that chicken? Come on, old man. Look at those legs. Oh, oh, oh! We're lucky enough that we get four options. I think that's what happens. That's cool. Um, I guess stone mask in this instance. Okay, there's something over here. It might be chicken. Oh, it's a. Oh, it's just everybody stops. Brilliant. Let's go. Oh, the chicken's over there now. That's a shame. Right. Uh, oh, and they disappeared. That's weird. But they, the timer must continue even though they're frozen in time. Interesting. I, I've never seen that effect before. That's cool to know. Something about that, that dancing circle of skeletons around the coffin in the library. That's quite fun. I think that's going to be tough to get through. You know what? Poe? Poe's doing alright actually. Well done Poe. Oh, more chicken. Yes, I take it. Don't go in there. I know you're tempted. I think that was still worth it. Right. I can't believe we've only got two weapons though. But I suppose they are... Well, I mean, we're only with... The only one that's super leveled up is the garlic. What level garlic are we on? Does it tell us? Oh yes, three. Three little pips. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I thought we've got more garlic from that, but maybe, maybe I'm misremembering. It would be nice to level up again, is, is something I'll say. We've only got, despite our stone mask thing, we've, <laughs> we've only got 39 coins. I don't feel like that's really paid off. I suppose that works best when you get a treasure chest, doesn't it? Because you get somewhere like in the realm of 100 coins from a treasure chest. So the, the greater percentage increase you can get there will, will make a significant difference whereas the little, little sacks of coins individual coins not really gonna really gonna do a lot okay i feel like we might want to yes level up let's level up the whip what is the whip whip is three i think and it's got more reach and more damage by the looks of it Oh, 
it's be good to get some more reaction as we get closer to the 10 minute mark. Oh, okay, that would be good. Um, I don't know if we can get back to that. We probably can if we leave people away and swing round. Oh, money, I'll take it. Money, I'll take it. That might be the luck coming in there. Right. Be nice to have some some pommel roller maybe. If we could get that to happen. Right, where is this? Here it is. Fabulous. Let's focus on you. Wow, you're tough. Okay, let's get out of that board. Look. Away from the mantis. There's a few chest bats there. Um, there's a white bat. That might be an extra special... Uh, Triple chests, maybe. Uh, I don't think we can afford to hang around for the white bat anymore. I've got I've got a bit tired, haven't I? I suppose I'm deep in concentration here. I want I want Poe to make it. Right, let's see if there's a little cheeky chicken we can pick up here. There is. Oh, that was fortuitous. Right, we've got here. Lovely. Okay, and we're, we're now trapped with a giant mantis. But what is usually the best policy is to escape and take a lesser amount of damage and let those guys all kind of stack up around there. I would really like to level up. I think we can do that before things go too wrong. You know what? More garlic. It's more garlic, isn't it? Chicken, yes. Oh, no. Oh, that was that went badly. <laughs> Dropped my old man onto a zombie's head and he took a lot of damage. Okay, that stops everybody, that's pretty good. Then I guess it might be good to do this. It might be good to do this. I don't know how long this circles. I mean, we have put ourselves back in harm's way, which is interesting. Um, okay, harm. Oh no! Harm's way disappeared. Oh. Well. Let's quit. That was pretty good, wasn't it? You know what? It's I mean it's got its claws into me. Should we do just one more one more Poe? Should we do one more Poe? I think we ought to. We haven't made a lot of coins. Sad to say. Yeah, so Poe Poe is, is currently my favourite. Uh, may always be my favourite, in fact. Oh, we're leveled up already. Um, Candelabrador? Does that work on garlic? It might do. We don't know what combines with garlic to make something exciting, do we? Hey! We're healed. Alright, yes, yeah, some more more attack types would be good. Perhaps ones that do damage outside our usual range. King Bye Bye, I suppose, goes pretty well with um, with garlic as well in terms of keeping people away. And that can get that can get pretty hectic 
um, at higher levels of upgrade as well. And you've got multiple Bibles floating around whacking people. Okay, uh, more, more King Bibles, please. Temporarily got three, that's quite exciting. Oh, no, took a bit of damage there. That's, that's moving a bit dangerously, apparently. Okay, money. We haven't got so mass this time, so. Um, I don't think any of that's going to make any difference. You know what, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a character that gains more money as well that we could unlock at some point, given how many characters I think there are. Hey, okay, that's good. Uh, can Labrador again? Well, yeah, I suppose if we keep doing area, it will mean that the Bibles get further away from us as well, which is an interesting change in, in what it does. So the Sweeper Ring further out from us. But I suppose. If the guy that's covering the interior, that could work pretty well. Right, should we also cross or should we clover? Let's get luckier. I think that could help. Okay, let's see if we can work our way back down to some of these gems. Okay, this is good. Um, we're going to have to pick another weapon. Let's go for cross. We haven't used that very much, I don't think. Um, it is pretty handy. Oh, got a a bit close to the wind there. Okay, we'll hoover up some things. Beautiful. I mean, it's garlic, isn't it? It's got. It's always garlic. Oh no! Sorry. Let's see if I can do a bit more damage to those. Back. Oh no! I wasn't paying attention to what was happening above me. That's a shame. Well, on that ignominious note, uh, let's end the stream for this evening. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, I've had a lovely time getting back into Vampire Survivors a bit. And unlocking Poe. That was the best bit. Uh, 2669. And we wanted... Uh, not unlocks. Although, let's have a little peek. Um, we need to reach level 40 in the inlaid library to unlock the next level which seems um, like it would be difficult but you never know so we need to get more of our weapons to level seven um, and we've done oh we unlock a character if we earn five hundred five thousand coins in a single run I mean that would be how would we do that even um, find the magic banger what what is magic Find the Milky Way map, find the Ars Gauda, find the Sorceress's Tears, find the Random Atso. Ah, oh, there's so many things. Find the Yellow Sign. There is no image of the Yellow Sign. Obtain all standard relics from all stages. Find and open the coffin in the man. Oh! The coffin is a special secret in all levels. 
Well, I wonder where the coffin would be in the mad forest. Mm. I wonder what you have to do to open it. The feet of 3,000 guns. We did that. 3,000 lion heads. 3,000 milk elementals. I can't I mean, I can't wait until I get to see milk elementals. Uh, there's there's a lot there's a lot of stuff there's a lot of stuff that you can do incredibly evolve the whip attains 500 gold coins oh so if we evolve our if we get the chance to evolve our weapons then we earn a cash reward that could help towards our cash total couldn't it amazing well, there is lots. There is lots that you can do in Vampire Survivors, uh, which is very exciting. I guess the power up, wasn't it? That's what I want to look at. Uh, yeah, still chip. Well, I mean, we're over halfway now to um, to getting the amount upgrade. So you know, my plan's in play still. Lovely. Well, we'll leave it leave it there for now. Thank you very much. I'm gonna pop us back on. Uh, where is it now? It is here. Yay, the outro screen. I'll just turn the volume of the music down a little bit. No, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. It's this one. Here we go. This is a little bit more. Yes, this will do. Right, thank you very much for joining me. As you can see on the screen, there are two more uh, streams to come in my Halloween schedule. Uh, so this Thursday, uh, Thursday the 26th, if you join me again at 7pm British Summer Time, uh, we'll be playing Project Firestar, so that'll be both again on Twitch and YouTube. So the VOD for this Vampire Survivor stream will be going up um, on YouTube very soon. Um, and then next Monday, the day before Halloween, 30th of October, 7pm again, but it'll be GMT this time, we're going to be playing FMV uh, Possible Classic, certainly um, Curiosity Ripper um, featuring Christopher Walken so please please join me for that I think we're going to have fun with both of those streams um, and you'd be very welcome to join in until next time everybody take care bye bye <laughs>